Hey, I'm the Lightbulb Guy and in this video I will show you my favorite drag and drop page builders for WordPress. So I will show you three different plugins. I want to start with the free one. It is called Page Builder by Site Origin. Actually this is the plugin for the builder and there is also a plugin for the elements which is called Site Origin Widgets Bundle, which is also free. After you have installed and activated both plugins, you can go to create a new page and you'll notice a new tab at the right corner next to the text tab. Click on it and this is actually the builder. You can create the rows with one or more columns in it and insert widgets in each space. So let's create the first row and make it with only one column. Then I can insert a widget. The blue ones are from the site origin widgets bundle. There are images, buttons, sliders, maps and so on. Let's add a slider. Now we can click here and add images to the slider and also we can edit almost anything about this widget here. So you can create as many rows as you want, all with different numbers of columns and practically build the page from scratch. Or you can use the pre-built layouts and then simply modify them. Let's use this one for example. It is telling us that it will remove all the content which is now on the page, ok. Now let's click on live editor. Here we can edit each and every element. Let's change the headline and the image. I just need to click on this element and go to frame. And here it is just like the default WordPress editor. Then you can change the text of the button as well as the destination URL and below that you can change the background. Let's choose a random image just for the purpose of this demonstration. Ok so pretty much editing the elements is very easy. Then here we can delete rows or drag and drop widgets where we want them to appear. Also we can move the rows up and down. So the page builder by site origin is the first option you have. It is free but it has some limitations and editing is not as friendly as you might want it to be. That's why I will show you the second plugin which is called velocity page. It allows you to edit the page with real time drag and drop on the exact page front end, not from the WordPress dashboard. The price is $97 for a single website. So after you have installed and activated the plugin, all you have to do is just go to edit the page and click on this link edit with velocity page. Then you can choose a template for the page from the current WordPress theme or from the pre-made velocity page themes. Let's choose this one for example. And now here I can edit the page live. I can change the texts and images. To add an item, just click on add item and for example let's say I want to add a video. I would choose media and then all I have to do is copy the link of the video and paste it here. On the side you see two icons. You have them on all items and that's where you can customize them. Now in this case I can only delete it but for example for the images. I can add a hyperlink or edit the alignment. On the right side of each row you have the same icon. This is where you can change the column counts and percentages. To add a new row just click on add row. With velocity page you can also create email capture pages very easily but there is one drawback which for me is very important. There is no split testing option. And that's where the third plugin comes into play. It's called InstaBuilder and it is the best plugin for creating marketing pages on your website in my opinion. It is one time payment and it has so many features that can increase the performance of your marketing pages that I cannot say them all in one video. But the first and most important is that you can split test different variations of the same page. This means that for example half of the visitors will see one version of the page and the other half another version. Then you can see which one gets more leads and drop the other one. You can add many different types of elements like surveys, exit splash screens, countdowns, notification bars, two step pop-ins and a lot more. 
You can also integrate it easily with Facebook and publish the page at your Facebook fan page and so much more. I have created a separate video about InstaBuilder and you can watch it here. However, this plugin is for marketing purposes. If you just want to create a page exactly how you imagine it very easily with no hassles, I suggest you get the Velocity Page plugin because it is very user friendly and I think everyone can build the page they want without reading a boring instruction on how to use the plugin. So these are my favorite drag and drop builders for WordPress. If you're not sure which one is the best for you, comment below and explain me what you need it for. I would tell you which one I would choose if I was in your place. And by the way, if you see WP Lightbulb for the first time, check out our website where you can learn for free how to maximize the revenue of a WordPress website with simple tricks and fixing common mistakes website owners make. Just go to WPLightbulb.com to get started. I hope this video helped you. Please like, share it and subscribe for more WordPress tutorials. Take care.